All right, y'all, so we are in the building today for this week for you guys and girls, and we got a lot to talk about, a lot of stuff popping off. If you want to get straight to what was shown in the thumbnail and whatnot, check out the chapters. Hopefully, I got that, or just skip straight to it, okay? But first things first, we do have a lot of releases coming out this particular week that I want to talk about. First things first, we have, of course, the KD3 White Metallic Gold. Now these are set to release on September 7th so far, and the easy monies for the most part did fairly well online. I know in certain stores they sat for the most part. I told you guys already that I really did like this pair in particular more than the easy money. I like the easy money. I like that it has, you know, I like the colorway behind it. It's the fact that it was brought back again in a different model to the three when it came out, I think initially for the, what, the seven or the 14, one or the other. Like, for some reason, I just only think seven or 14, okay? But we have this one here, which is that white and metallic gold. The material, the leather, Rumpelstiltskin nut sacks on that leather. I love that side paneling, which reminds me a lot of that LeBron 9 type of weaving going on there. And overall, a solid, solid KD3. The retail on these, I believe, is around that $140, I wanna say price point. I kinda wanna stick to that because I thought it was 130 and I double checked and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 140. These will be coming out though. I think these would do fairly well for the most part, like not like flying off the shelf, instantly selling out, going crazy on the resale price, none of that, but definitely something that if you are like looking forward to get, you might have to go through a couple different websites, but I think you'll eventually find this shoe eventually. It might be one, two websites that sell out, but there'll be some stragglers floating around at various other websites on this particular shoe. Rumpel still skin nut sack, like once again, you got the KD35 on the back with that PlayStation button, panties popping, panties dropping, and you got that, of course, the tongue with the hole on it, which the KD3 Easy Money did not have the hole. The All-Star did, this one does, which is a good pull tab for that tongue. And you hear that? It's something about the soles on these threes that are the sticky, icky, wicky. You feel me? Some of that Kush Pack stick, you feel me? Good traction. But be on the lookout, these are dropping on the seventh. A Nike Zoom KD3 Summit White White. This is an eight and a half. Also, Soul Play will have pairs on their website Saturday. First come, first serve at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So everything I'm showing you here will be available on Soul Play's website on the release dates. So check it out. Next up, we have, of course, the Air Max one. And I showed this one, I believe, when I showed the Palominos that I forgot to even mention. Those dropped. By the time you're watching it, they already dropped anyway, so it don't even matter. But bam! The Air Max one 86 OG Obsidian. So we see another big bubble coming back in full effect, and this is the Obsidian, the Nike Air Max 1 Obsidian. Big bubble style, once again, I told y'all before how I felt about just the OGs in general. I gotta get rid of my 2017 Air Max 1 in white and red. If you're interested, feel free to hit me up, because I have the big bubble, and I'm keeping the big bubble. But this pair in particular, very similar as far as the material felt overall on the swooshes in that upper, and then you got some of that, I would say almost like a polyester nylon, and then the mesh on the toe box, the shape, everything about it, screams the 1986 original OG type of shape and material. So everything on here, A1 Steak Sauce, Nike Air on the back. They're still dropping their current line of Air Max ones, but they're bringing in this 86 OG line to you know bring back that nostalgic feeling. They're trying to pretty much do what Jordan Brand's doing with the Reimagine now with the, or like even the Jordan 1 85 highs that we've seen popping up in different colorways. Now they have an 86 in the Air Max 1. These are releasing on September 9th and the retail on these will be $150. So be on the lookout. I think these should, should do fairly well. I mean, the first big bubbles that dropped did well for the most part. They sold out online in certain stores and there were some stragglers sitting along elsewhere at other spots. But yeah, this is like a one release. Maybe not that many sizes, so I expected these to do, you know, decent for the most part. Then we got, of course, on the knife also releasing the Jordan 4 Red Cement. We should be dropping the review on this on Monday, so stay tuned. The retail price point. 
$210. I talked a lot about my thoughts and feelings on this shoe for the most part. That Rumpel Steelskin Nutsack material on that leather, real nice and tumbled, you feel what I'm saying? You got, of course, it's pretty much a, a white cement with the red cement color hints, man. That's just all this is. No Nike here on the back for the most part. And this will be releasing at 210 for men's. They'll also have grade school, I think preschool and toddler, the whole family, full size family run on this bad boy, September 9th. Resale will be stupid. They will sell out instantly. And if you want them, it'll be a problem. Me personally, it's a pass for me. We got also some Lady Jordan ones and Nikki likes these. I've told y'all these in the Jordan one, Praline. <laughs> Jordan 1 Praline is set to release on September 13th. I believe the retail price point will, it will be $180. Ladies, y'all will be hit with the men's tax on these. They come with the ribbon laces. They also come with an additional set of laces that you can see here. There you go. So additional set of laces, satin silk on the inside. You got the satin laces with that type of, you know, mimicking that of the purses, the luxury purses that ladies are wearing. Even Nikki herself has been wearing. She said it's very tempting. Me and her anniversary is coming up, so. I might go ahead and just get her these and call it a day. The materials on here though, is actually, I believe a praline material, praline white slash sale. And this is a size 10, so this is my size. Personal little pickup, no, but for her, maybe so. You feel me? On the inside, white with that praline Nike Air, satin silk on the inside, like I stated, and the laces. Ladies, if y'all are watching this, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on these, if this is a cop or not for y'all. I think they're dope. I think some men will get these shoes, even with, you know, just swap out the laces. I don't know I don't, I don't know if any of y'all fellas are going to be rocking that laces on there. That, hey, to each his own, do what you got to do. You know, I, I ain't, I, I ain't going to judge. And then last but not least, what y'all came here for more than likely, man. Whew, I can't lie, bro. I like these. I like these a lot. These are the Nike Airship Corporate Got Em. set to release on September 8th over on Corporate Gotham, but in the neighborhood stores on September 15th. The retail price point on these will be $150, and Corporate Gotham is a store based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. They also have a store, I think, in Dayton, and then they have another store in Indianapolis. So salutes to them. The shoe is to pretty much commemorate the owner, Matt Toma Michelle. Toma Michelle. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Matt Toma Michelle. Salutes, Matt. I Sorry if I got the name wrong, okay? But it comes in, it has a card about it, it says corporate. If I told a 16 year old me that one day I was going to work with my favorite brand in the world, I hope he'd go no way. I hope he would want to know what it took to get there because I still can't believe myself sometimes. How my passion for sneakers and basketball led to a 20 plus year career in retail. I'd hope he was curious about the journey and question how I handled the problems in my life. When I moved to Minneapolis and Columbus, how bad the recession was and why my parents told me to jump ship when I told them I planned to open the shop. I especially hope he asks me why the shop corporate because it would definitely make him laugh. Maybe I tell him about the times I wanted to quit but people saw something in me that would make them encourage me to keep going. I'd help him understand how networking not only opens doors to opportunities but also helps the doors open when you physically can't. I'd hope to explain to him how this community and friends will become the family he needs to succeed. I'd hope he understands that it was all worth it and that where corporate is today is exactly what people need to show them to never give up. So this is the card that each one of us will be getting if you end up getting your hands on these with Jordan brand. And of course, you got the typical airship, you know, little booklet, which is dope as well. The airship has definitely been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of praise, a lot of push for the most part. And I can't lie, as much as the promotions behind it, they haven't necessarily been getting that much. Like they, some have hit some of, you know, hit and miss for the most part. Now we got this once again, this same exact box. And now I'm understanding more and more of what is going on. When you sit back and look at the box, you can remember now that we even ourselves on this channel reviewed several shoes in this box. And each time now I'm noticing that the box itself gets like another sticker or some sort. You could see here, like originally it was the Philippines that got, I believe like the Titan 
the Jordan 2 Titan. Remember, I think there were maybe two or three pairs of those dropped. Then we got the one that was, I uh, believe, in Flint or in Detroit. Let me see where it's at, if it's, if it's on here. Yep, there we go, Detroit, Mi Detroit, Michigan. Remember, there was the 219, the Jordan 2 Low, the 219. They got their collab with Jordan Brands. So you got the Philippines, them. Now you got one in Tokyo, which I don't know what it could be. I just, my, I, I, I can't remember right now. South Africa. I believe they got the melon, I believe. It was like a, me a melon color or something like that. Tokyo's got a pair. Beijing, China's gotten collab as well. And of course, Paris. So there's been various ones out there that they've been collabing with different stores throughout the little you know, globe of Jordan brand. And I think that's very dope to see that. I hope they continue with this on. I hope that Soul Play gets this very soon down the pipeline. We need that Atlanta one somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Give us that Atlanta one, Jordan Brand, we'll get it popping. The color says Light Minta, metallic silver. These though, crazy, crazy. Material, soft suede. Thing is soft butterscotch patty melt suede. And you got like a little bit of a new buck going around the ankle right here, as well as on the toe box. So you got a suede and new buck mixture. The suede is very, very nice. Has a great, you know, for the most part, premium feeling. And on the bottom, you got that you know, that silver or that gray bottom Nike Air corporate got them. On the side, it says for the city with Matt's initials on the inside right here. And you got corporate on the back end. Extra set of laces. The color, it's it's dope, you know, cause me personally, I don't have this type of color in my collection. This Minta, well, I guess I could say some similar to like a Jordan 5 grape or something like that, but nothing to that, ex not, like nothing this, like, I don't know, nothing, nothing is crazy, bro, for the most part. You got a little hang tag that says corporate on it. I didn't even know they had that. I didn't, this is my first time even looking at the shoe. Here's the hang tag. And like I said, we've seen multiple Jordan 2s get this collab. It seems like they switched it up a little bit and gave them the airship for this one in particular. So that's something a little bit different. You got the size right there. You might can't see it. it says size nine. And then got them on one back and got them on the other. So you got got them on the back for corporate got them. And for me, got them early, you feel me? Um, but yeah, I like the I like the store name, Corporate Got Em. You know, I like everything about what's going on. I'm definitely not that much keen of the store. If I'm definitely, if I'm ever in Dayton or in Cincinnati or in Ohio, I'm gonna make sure to stop by and uh, check the store out, man, for the most part. I like this colorway, I like what they did with this, and I'm definitely gonna be doing a full on in-depth review on it. Now, whether or not I would like cop this, I'm still a little bit on the fence. I, I gotta I gotta think about it. I gotta, I gotta sit, 150 ain't bad. I got a pair of airships that I bought now and I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm getting rid of them. I bought them, I liked them, they were white and neutral gray, but I, I'm been thinking about getting rid of them just cause I ain't rocked them. And this that's just how I've been moving now for the most part. So I gotta see bro, I gotta see. But let me know down below in the comment section you guys' thoughts and opinions. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all as always. And let me know, if you're gonna get the corporates or not. I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'm going to see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.